Hello everyone, I am Soumya Kurtkoti from Informatica GCS and I am here to introduce you all to one of the concepts in Enterprise Data Catalog that is Config Resolution for Data Rule and Column Name Rule. Let's get into the agenda of this discussion. We will be looking into what is Data Rule and Column Name Rule with respect to data domains followed with options to resolve the conflict between data rule and column name rule. Data rule and column name rule specify the criteria on data domain association. We come across data rule, column name rule and config resolution options during creation of data domains in the LDM admin UI. For data domain association with any assets, either data rule or column name rule should match. As name itself specifies, the data rule is validated on the data present in any asset. Column name rule validates the asset name, for example, column name in a relational table. We have three options or three ways to specify the rules for data domains. First one is to select reference table from the list of records fetched from reference database. Second one is to specify regular expression. We are using this option in our conflict resolution demo. The last option is to select rules fetched from model repository service where rules are created either in developer client or analyst tool. Let's get into the main topic for our discussion that is conflict resolution options or ways for data rule and column name rule. First option we see in the list is if rules conflict, data overrides the column name rule. In this scenario, data rule is considered on priority over the column name rule. The data domains are auto accepted based on data rule results. Let's consider an example of column where user has populated name of the passenger's data. In the screenshot, we see that data rule is expecting data with alphabets along with dot or spaces and column name rule is strictly expecting name of the column to be name of the passenger. For demonstration, we have considered a column with different name that is passenger name instead of name of the passenger and data as John, Zubin and so on. In this example, we see that column name is not matching with the rule whereas data matches 100%. Hence the data domain passenger name is auto accepted considering the data rule result over the column name rule. From the screenshot of overview tab of data domain, we see passenger name rule under the auto accepted tabs. This is the screenshot of overview tab of the column and overing over the data domain, we can see how the data domain is associated with the assets. That is, data matches 100%. Second option or way to resolve the rules conflict is column name overriding the data rule. Here data domains are auto accepted based on the column name rule results. We can consider an example of data domain class where it is expecting to have column name as class in different formats and data matching the keywords economy, business or first. We have a column named class which exactly matches the name specified in the column name rule whereas data contains only a single character corresponding to economy first and business classes which do not satisfy the data rule. For the, for the class column we see that data domain is auto accepted because of column name match. This is screenshot from column overview tab where we see that data domain is tagged to our set because of 100% name match. Last option is to have both data rule and column name rule valid 
validated against the actual data and column name. Here data domains are auto accepted only if both data rule and column name rule criteria get satisfied. Considering a data domain flight where it is expecting column name to be flight and data in the format FLI001. Here we have considered a column flight where it's exactly matching with the data rule and also with the column name rule. In the overview tab of the column, overing over the data domain, we see that it is auto accepted based on the data rule as well as column name rule result. You can refer the administrator administrator guide for information on the conflict resolution. We would love to hear from you on support videos and Twitter. Thank you for joining us on this discussion.